What, how would you define a blockbuster? God. Do you have your camera? How do you define a blockbuster? Look around. They have covered out the whole epic block! It's crazy. It's like, it's a whole block. Okay. So this film has become a bit of a political football. Do you think that's good or bad? For why? Movie? Tell me why. Um, I think there's been mixed anticipation for the film. I don't think so. I think the press made that up. I think people are really, really excited to see four women starring in a movie, uh, on a comedy. Would you say that Hollywood is getting better for women? Well, look what's happening here today. I think so. I mean, Melissa McCarthy, I think she is the biggest woman comedy star in movies. Do you say that... Um, and Kristen Wiig is, like, pulling out her dress. Would you say and Leslie Jones is going to rip it off. Do you think she's doing a choreographed dance? Would you, you say there's such role? thing as a female comedy? And if so, how is that different? No, I don't think so at all. I think straight boys made that up. <laughs> oh, I'm a gay guy, okay. so I'm sitting with the women all the time. Okay. I know what it's like. Can you tell us about your next I'm in a movie called The Birth of a Nation. I play a white heterosexual Christian plantation owner in 1831, and I'm a gay liberal Jew. Typecasting, welcome to Hollywood, which means anything can happen if you keep showing up. That's good. Yeah. Can you tell us about, a little bit about the premise of the film? It's about black abolitionist Nat Turner. He's the first uh, black man to fight against the white plantation owners, me. And he had the fortitude to do that. He was the first one that was actually documented, and I'm thinking that there probably were more. Because, you know, in those days, I couldn't read or write. So there, nothing was documented, but he was the first one to do that. And it's an incredible story. We won the Sundance Award for Best Picture Audience and Grand Jury. And $17.5 million was bought by Sony Pictures. Opens October 7th. And I'm hoping my life changes.